Welcome back to Talk Pittsburgh. Healthcare workers are often often do not get enough recognition for the demands of the job, and that's why our next guest is trying to portray them as they really are heroes. So joining me now is portrait photographer Heather Tabaki, and so glad to have you here. You brought your wonderful book with you, which yes. we'll get to see a little bit more of. Tell me what inspired you to do this campaign. So during the pandemic, I was spending a few weeks in the ICU visiting my fiance's father, and it really gave me the opportunity to see how healthcare workers were taking care of him, but also how they were showing up for us. And I noticed a disconnect between what I was experiencing and what others were posting about online. And I saw it as an opportunity to give healthcare workers a platform to be able to really share their stories and experiences through powerful imagery. And at the same time, it aligned really well with my brand because I focus on an empowering experience type of photography. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't think of a more better group of people to be able to be pampered for the day. So it's called Health Heroes. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yes. And so you took enough pictures to actually create this beautiful book. Yes. And so uh, I saw multiple images in there. We see them dressed as the heroes they are. Yeah. But but before that, you can also see them in other situations. Yes, so uh, there are 52 healthcare workers in this magazine, and a lot of times I will photograph them in their health attire, but then I'm also pretty well known for putting people in gowns and crowns, so I also photograph them in my signature style, and I really love that this kind of gave them the opportunity to feel like a celebrity for the day and just really get outside of their comfort zone. And uh, I really love how they're just kind of open to having a little Beyonce moment. And there's, uh, there is some um, script in there as well. Oh, yes. So tell me about the stories that you heard firsthand from some of these workers. Yeah, a lot of them shared with me um, really just the balance of how they were showing up for their patients and how they were also balancing showing up for themselves and then at the same time showing up for their families. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people were frustrated um, with just kind of balancing it all. So uh, I think it was a really hard time to show up for work and they did it flawlessly. And so we're just seeing a couple of the images here. How did you select them? How did you know who to turn to? Yes. So. I think a really big common misconception is that people thought that I was picking and choosing heroes, but really the heroes, they chose me. So I was a little bit limited by who would submit their stories. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is I would really love to just encourage any and all people to apply, especially those in a little bit more of a unique area of the healthcare field. So we can really just continue to show a very diverse uh, areas of the field. I mean, we're seeing a bunch of different I mean, what are we seeing here? Who who are these two? Um, oh, oh, we're and we're I mean, we're flipping through pretty rapidly. <laughs> yes. But I mean, what were some of the unique positions that you saw that that had to show up? I mean, because they all did. Yeah. No matter what. Um, one in particular story that really comes to mind for me is my client Alia, and she's a respiratory therapist and also a mom. And when I first met with her, she shared with me the struggles of finding something she could just do for herself. Mm -hmm. So I invited her to come onto my campaign and we really wanted to show a portrait that showed the balance of, you know, all of her children's stuff in one hand and right. all of her work stuff in the other hand. And shortly after I photographed her for the first time, she began to pursue modeling. And really? when, I mean, when I met her, I, I mean, was she's like, she's stunning. Yes. You can see it when you're, photo yeah, when yes. you're photographing her. Um, but since then, I mean, she's walked in New York Fashion Week. She's <gasps> been in magazines and getting to see somebody like her go through the campaign and just really come out of it with a new sense of confidence is just really what makes it all worthwhile for me. I have to tell you, as a mom who works full time, this, I resonate with this so much, not even being in the healthcare industry, but that balancing act. Yes. And I feel like my hands are always full, even if they're not. Like even right now, I still feel like there's this weight that I'm carrying around. Yes. To see that, I mean, gosh, it, I mean, it almost brings tears to my eyes. Mm -hmm. So how did this affect you? Because I think that the goal is to have this impact so that people understand. How did it affect you? Yeah. Um I think that at times it was really heavy, you know, if you spend a day listening to seven different people's stories and, you know, some of the stuff that they would share would be really hard. And I'm an empath, so a lot of times I would carry that with me even after I hung up the phone. Um, but it really just was so inspiring for me and, 
you know, some days I would be thinking, man, I'm having such a tough day at work. And then I'd hear their story and be like, all right, I'm okay today. Like it could be, you know, something going similar to something what like they're that. going through. Yeah. Where can people find your magazine? Um, so this magazine right now is going out to all of our healthcare workers. It's and wonderful. then also uh, we could send it to them if they inquired as well. Thank you so much, Heather, for coming yeah. on. I mean, really spectacular work. Thank you. It's really incredible. Thank you so much.